North Dakota Health and Human Services says whooping cough cases are up this year, not just among babies. In September, Portland State had to cancel a football game against South Dakota because of an outbreak among team members. So far, there have been 73 cases. Last year, there were only 17. Danny Pinnock with HHS says the last time we had comparable numbers was in 2012. She says it's normal, though, for cases to pick up every 10 years or so as the population's immunity changes. She says staying up to date on your vaccines can help, in particular the Tdap vaccine. In the last year, we've seen a number of infants end up in the hospital due to pertussis um, and requiring really high levels of life support, um, including, in some cases, ventilators. And that would be, you know, just a terrifying thing to have to experience with a, a young infant. She said it's especially important for pregnant women in their third trimester to be vaccinated, since some of that immunity can be passed on to baby. Symptoms include trouble breathing, a fever, a runny nose, nausea, and in advanced cases, a high-pitched whooping when inhaling.